Hey yo, so I'm starting it off with some shitty news. Um, unfortunately, the cam and microphone audio did not record, so you're getting a weird little ranty throwback Thursday. So welcome to the video. Um, let's just hop right into it. Um, I like to write my little rant, so excuse me if you think it's like weird or whatever. But click off my video, then nerd. <laughs> um, I tend to overthink things in my life. Even making this video, hold on, hold on, please don't click off, <laughs> please. Look, being yourself is hard when you don't know yourself, am I right? I feel like I'm placing myself under watchful eyes when in reality, I'm recording alone in my room. In real life, I feel like I'm way funnier than I am with my videos. <laughs> Sometimes I even go back to watch my vids and I feel like I invited myself to a cringe fest. However. If that's the case, I feel like I've improved my content in the three years I've been posting. Regardless of how I feel about my channel, we are still a relatively small channel. But with time and my mortal enemy, consistency, <laughs> we will grow the Randizi's army and march across the interwebs that is the net. Um, I also figured that I should try and show my personality as I've always been goofy and energetic. But, I feel as though sometimes in my video, I just look like a rock talking in paces. Um, it's been weird, it's been a weird journey for me, as I started this channel's revamp in 2020. I tried to upload videos my freshman year of high school, and under the name, okay, don't judge me, okay, here it goes. <clears throat> uh, Elite McMuffin, okay, don't mind the way it's spelled, okay, just, just look away. But under that name, I released two videos which were Call of Duty meme videos where I talked about anything and just memed it up. Plus, I edited those videos on my PlayStation 4. To be honest, the first vid on this channel and other vids were made from that same type of, you know, I guess you could say influence as well. But let me tell you about the origins of where I really wanted to first start YouTube. I met some guys in 7th grade who wanted to start a group of COD players across YouTube. We were gonna have the tag, okay, EL1T3X and then whatever, right? So we had like snipes and maids, the generic names, but we also had food like grapes and cakes and you know, just other little stuff. So you know, you know, I already know that I'm like not super good at video games or whatever especially fps okay fps catch me in other games actually fighting games too i fucking hate fighting games okay unless i really learn how to play because smash ooh, don't even get me started on smash Ooh. so anyway i figured that since i wasn't good at video games i might as well come up with a weird ass name that no one would you know think of and you know i thought it would be a meaningful way to put like mcmuffin in that joint you know what I'm saying? Because I really did like McDonald's at the time, and I hope they could sponsor me. <laughs> but, uh, anywho, that's besides the point. YouTube has always been something I wanted to do after I came out across Dashy XP. Boy, that nigga is funny as hell. I didn't even start on his gaming channel, and it was his Mortal Kombat skits. Hey, I'm gonna post a link to that in the description. Yes, sir, go check them out. Show respect to my boy. However, growing up, I thought I couldn't do it. I didn't have the time, equipment, or skills required in the, you know, damn near golden age of Vine. Y'all remember that app, I know. And if y'all don't, I don't even know what the generation below me is called, but man, bro, y'all missed out on something that was really, that was like, damn, social media is really like taking off. That was like the first. Anyway, let me stop being a little old head or whatever, but. Let's fast forward to the part where Elite McMuffin dropped his second video. And that's just a little history lesson for y'all, you know what I'm saying? I hope y'all enjoy hearing my little history. But, you know, I felt like I wasn't funny and I gave up. End of story. And I actually deleted those videos off my channel, which is like, damn near. I wish I would have kept them because, you know, that was like, those were my babies damn near. And I shouldn't have ever deleted anything that I posted. So I never delete anything anymore unless it's a duplicate or something's wrong with it. I just private it. 
Um, but, you know, that even cost me my love of video games as I, I stopped playing video games until about my... It, it gets hazy. It's either my the end of sophomore year to, like, the beginning of my junior year. But all I really know is it was when Fortnite came along when that shit was popping, G. But anywho, as I mentioned earlier in the vid, I've been posting for about three years. And the channel's B-Day is officially May the 4th of 2020 that's crazy we already three years old so i'm really gonna try to make the channel's third year be great you know what i'm saying but also kind of like that because i did not plan this i swear but may the 4th is also a star wars holiday and with that may the fourth be with your win dizzies i'll see you in the next one you dig randomness all up in the vending machine is young chocolate leave a like on the vid you want a big mac no i got some random snacks yes i call me senpai this was clean i don't lie subscribe to your boy every vid a banger cause i'm the chocolate slanger and there was no one stranger Ugh. i love y'all man <laughs>